Hi, welcome to the module Python for Data Science. Many of the times, our decisions are based on some form of condition. For example, if you arrive late at home from work, then you are going to order the food. Otherwise, if you happen to make it on time, then you are going to cook food for yourself. This example best describes when you make decisions based on a condition. And more often than not, data analysts also make decisions based on a set of conditions. These conditions are implemented in Python through the if else statements. Let's see the syntax for the if else statement in Python. We can see that the syntax itself is quite simple. It has two keywords, the if and the else. The if keyword is followed by the condition that we want to check, followed by a colon sign, and then the statement that we want to be executed in case the condition turns out to be true. If the condition is not true, the statement 2 gets executed which resides inside the else block. Care has to be taken that there is an indentation or space in the statement after the if condition. So this is the space that we are talking about. It is very important in Python since Python does not follow curly brackets like other languages for defining the scope visibility. Let's convert our previous problem into the if else statements. So for example, our condition was that if we turn out to be late, we want our food to be ordered. Otherwise, if we are not late, we want our food to be cooked. So this food to be cooked resides inside the else statement and the condition that if we are late is checked inside the if condition. If else condition is good, when we want to check a single condition. But what if we want to check multiple conditions? For the multiple conditions, we have the if elif else statements. The syntax for the elif else statement is very much similar to the previous one. The only addition is this elif statement, which contains provision for checking of extra condition. So, what we can do is we can check a particular condition in the if block, execute a statement corresponding to this condition. If this condition is, turns out to be false, we can check for another condition in the elif block and execute the statement corresponding to this condition. If every condition is false, then this statement is executed. Let's look at this problem. Assume that we have a variable x and we want to print positive if x is greater than 0, print 0 if x is equal to 0 and negative if x is less than 0. So how can we convert this problem statement into a if elif else statement? Let's see. So, how did this is? First, I want to check if x is greater than 0. So, this block over here checks whether if x is greater than 0 and if yes, it will print a positive statement. But, I also want to print 0 if x is equal to 0. So, I'll put this x equal to 0 in the elif statement. But, keep in mind that we will use a double equal to to compare rather than a single equal to. Single equal to is for assignment while double equal to is for comparison. And we want to check value of x with 0. So this is a comparison task. So if x is equal to 0, we want to print 0. And if x is neither greater than 0 nor equal to 0, we want to print negative. So this statement falls under the else block. So this is how we can convert this statement using the if elif else statement. This is all about conditional statements in Python. In the next video, we will see how we can implement these conditional statements in Python in Jupyter Notebook. Thank you.